James McPake or John Hughes? Hughie Bear. Who's it going to be for the Fur Park job? Of course, Hamill out the door. And again, it's weird that this job is almost taking centre stage rather than the Aberdeen job, which of course has been vacant for a few weeks now. Well, a few weeks longer, of course, but Motherwell, I mean, absolutely abysmal. After after the start of the season against Sligo Rovers, I mean, <laughs> we predicted them to go down on the channel. Then had a wee rise above hate, as Big John would say, Big Match John, and then they, 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 they sunk rather fast. But James McPake, of course... Done D manager, no, not done D confirmed one. I know it was a done, fuck me, man. I bought bought you mania, but you know, John Hughes, who's literally had every job in Scotland. So, who are they going to go for? I'm not really 100% sure. James McPake, you know, confirmed one, and I'm like a rebuild. I mean, they've kind of been in a rebuild since you know, like since they were in the premiership, which was that long ago. I mean, how long, how long? I mean, it's been like 12 years. I mean, when the firm one were out, I mean, it was like the years like with Falkirk and shit, and that's a long, long time ago. So, again, would he leave the firm one to go to Motherwell? Probably, but then if you go down and the firm one get promoted and you end up in the same division as the firm one, you kind of look like he's, he, he looks like he's got egg on his face. Well, John Hughes, who knows? But Ian McCall, could he potentially get the Motherwell job? Of course, sacked after the Partick Thistle game against Rangers, which I think was... No one is really sure about in that regard, but you know, who is going to get the Motherwell job? It is up in the air, but as we dive in to the Scottish Got Up Club, and Kyogo, I was, it doesn't actually say here, but he's linked with a move to Crystal Palace, so there you go. But yeah, he will um, potentially be fit for the fair play final against Rangers, of course, which is on the 26th. Rangers, though, are in line to bank another £7 million in transfer add-ons following the sales of some of their top academy talents to the Premier League. While former Brazilian Inter Milan defender C. Maria is a shot contender for the Motherwell manager job. Do not see it. Of course, we did have the likes of Dwight York saying that if he got the Aberdeen job, he would take the stranglehold from the Scottish Premiership that Rangers and Celtic have on it, and he would win the league for Aberdeen. I just don't see that. Like... People talk about Klopp. People talk about Guardiola. They wouldn't even win the Scottish Premiership with Aberdeen. Now, if they had, if they were in charge of Hearts, and you know they're to be believed to be such an elite coach, coach, you would ex coach. Doubt Guardiola's a coach, but you know you would expect them to be able to put up a challenge of some sorts. Like I think the fact that no one's won the league in literally forty years, other than the old firm. Is disgraceful. Now I understand the budget, the budget stuff, but come on, like if Leicester can win the English Premier League, man, there's no excuse for no one else to get involved up here, man. I, I truly, I, I truly do believe that. You know, I mean, maybe they'll factor in. Oh, but you have to play the old firm four times each, which could, of course, have a problem. But uh, anyway, four Rangers captain Barry Ferguson believes his side would effectively make a healthy profit. And Malik Tillman of his current loan deal is made permanent. Burnley manager Lee Johnson has revealed the signing of Mikey Devlin. On a short term stay was a little unplanned, but insists the centre back has a chance to earn himself a longer stay at Easter Road. Ex Aberdeen midfielder Paul Hartley believes the Patoji club are in safe hands under former teammate Barry Robson, who's currently in uh, interim charge of the club. And it's just kind of a load more of um, garbage in it. I mean, Leon King wants to become a full Scotland international, but is that going to happen? Who knows, you know. Jordan Pickford, Rex for Toy Story, absolutely botching the Merseyside derby. But anyway, guys, that is going to do here for Fog Football. Not an awful lot. Guardiola is ashamed of his stupid Gerard comments when he said that, is he responsible for when Gerard slept all those years ago? But I remember watching that game live and it's like 11 years ago. Fucking hell. But anyway, till next time. Peace.